There you are, Captain Dan. There the I am. Finest field operative I have ever had the pleasure of coordinating. Not only the finest field operative, but the finest care breaker speedrunner of all time. That's not true, of course, but it will be one day because I am back doing more care breaker speedruns now with missiles for my oppressor and a new 4K 240Hz motor, which is probably going to cause more problems than solves. But regardless, hopefully we have a good run today. Still need to do the preps though. First, moving my big submarine. I should have brought my wrench. Yes, that would certainly have helped, Pavel. How can we speedrun without wrenches? First, you get the wrench then you get the wenches. Yes, I want to practice driving the oppressor using keyboard and mouse. It sucks having to change the controller all the time, but apparently an oppressor is basically just like riding a bike, so. Not in that you never forget, in that it has basically the same controls. Wait a second. I didn't drop my graphic settings. <sighs> so beached. If you have high or very high shader quality, it's next to impossible to get through here. No, I have to restart the game. No. I was too busy tinkering with my 4K monitor. It's already caused problems, chat. I told you it would. Will portions of all these streams be in a vid? Uh, yes, but only the bad parts. So if you really like my videos that go up on my YouTube channel, you would really love my live streams because that's where all the best stuff is that you're not allowed to see. Person of the future, who I'm now speaking to. As if you're here right now. It's kind of awkward, really. You're not even responding. Asshole. I was about to say I'm so proud of myself that I can finally find these stairs first try and I immediately failed. <laughs> okay, first person map. Always first person in submarine. Still going the wrong way. I'll learn one day. There's the seat. Why did I even go into third person? Sometimes when like sitting down or climbing stuff or getting in stuff, usually third person's faster. At least in single player, I don't know about this game. Easy. But. Surely there's a better place to park this, right? Like, why not just park it further in? Like, I'm assuming there's some reason why it's specifically here. But, like, over there somewhere, it'd be even closer, you know? So, for the longest time, I thought allow independent camera modes just made it so you had one camera in vehicles and one camera on foot. But I was informed yesterday it's actually for each class of vehicle. So, if you're in first person in a car, and then you go get into a boat, the game will remember what camera you had last time you were in the boat and give you that same one again. Why this is significant is because for the finale on the long fin, I want to be in first person immediately. So I must get into a boat in first person earlier. So I'm in first person the second I spawn in the long fin. I have a vague recollection of being told that a long time ago, but I think I just forgot because it never comes up in single player. The reason why I don't like moving in first person is because like if I press D, it sidesteps me. And the camera moves very strangely if I want to move with the camera. It's awkward. Um, let me get my oppressor. Oh, so what I hold control to go upwards and shift to go downwards? It'll take me a while to get used to this, but yeah, this does seem to be better. Aiming is certainly tough, though. But I mean, it locks on, so. Alright. Let's continue this sh setup bullshittery. Um, damn it, my vehicle is not here. Pegasus. Thank you, sir. Your spectacular aircraft is now ready for you at our nearest airfield. It's not the aircraft that's spectacular. It's me who's spectacular. Hey, can I help you with something? Yes, you can, Simeon. Give me an ability to warp out of Care Perico later. Thanks, man. It's kind of like that thing from Rick and Morty where he's talking to that robot. But instead, it's like Simeon being like, what is my purpose? And I'm like, to give me a way to warp later. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is terrible. You know what I'm saying, but you don't really, because I'm dumb. Never mind. Ignore me. Did that, this get destroyed? It did. I think at one point I failed to destroy one of these, and that's why the Avenger, or whatever the hell it's called, event started. It's not an event, it's a setup mission or whatever. So I'm just going to be extra special sure that I destroyed them all this time. Get in one before blowing it up in first person? True, I should have done that for the long fin. Ah, it's not. It's not worth it. Good to see you, boss. It is not good to see you. You're fired. I'll see you here tomorrow. Do the dinghies get despawned? No. A destroyed dinghy will stay there forever until you leave a session. 
That's why they're used to block the spawns of particular setups. You can go really insane with it and put like dozens of dinghies in different spots to get the exact same spawns for each setup every single time. It's just I'm not good enough yet for that to really matter. While it would save me a little bit of time to know exactly the location that the cutter is going to be, for example, so I could instantly teleport there rather than waiting for Pavel to, uh, to show me where to go. That small amount of time save is not worth it when I'm not in contestation for world record. Okay, so I want this as close to the yellow doll as possible. Uh, that seemed pretty good. For those who don't know what I'm doing, it's making it so that I can have the sparrow in the Keoparico Island. Where I'm sitting is basically where Keoparico spawns, and you want to have your sparrow in a place where it will spawn on the ground. Uh, this doesn't look good, but give it a go. Okay, chat. So before I begin, if the guard is there on the map, it's higher in the tower, right? Basically, tell me if you see the guard. I need to make sure I set up this thing so I can warp out of here. Need to not forget these. Let's begin. Ah, no, what, 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 how did that come, what, what? Why is caps lock bringing up the home button screen? That didn't make any fucking sense. Okay, spend more time in first person. Uh, snack, snack, snack. That guy is two feet away from me and can't hit me. Okay, he dead. So this plain spot is really far away from the yellow dot, so it's immediate time loss. Fantastic. It's not like I need to go fast or anything. I still don't know if it's worth just directing myself completely already immediately towards the yellow dot, or if it's worth going over the mountain. See, the plane can't get up that high now. I think it's worth going round. Yeah, I'll keep going round. If I try to put myself up too high, too fast, then I don't get any uh, height. Here's a little guy there. Should have hit him. It is truly painful, though, having to do this flight every single time, just in the hopes that the sparrow appears. Because it might not appear, and I have to do this again. Ha 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 ha! It's great. Are we there yet? We're there. One thing I need to remember is apparently you can bring up Simeon, as in the job text, to remove some help text while you're flying. I don't know why that's significant, but I see how the runners do it. Why can't you assholes be on time for once, eh? Because Rockstar made it so the plane is a billion miles away. It'd be funny if there's like some really optimal route that you can take, like a, a one in a billion route where there's actually a different cutscene where it's like, oh, you're on time. Awesome. Ah, uh, maybe. It's not a good spot, is it? Even if it lets me in, it could just break. Okay, it didn't break. We're good. Uh, kind of, maybe. Okay, well, that was a little bit sketchy. Okay, do, do this thing. I don't think I click it. Do I click it? Ah! So, when the helicopter is a little bit damaged, it'll occasionally just lose motor and then go down a bunch. So, I did nothing wrong there except that I was trying to do this thing. And yeah, you do need to click into it. See how the you'll be given a bad sport increase for leaving the club work? That comes up and that skips any help text that's up there. That is unfortunate. What does skipping the text achieve? I have no idea. What I would suspect is if you're really, really fast, that help text could prevent you from being able to go into the, the wiring or whatever, the minigame. But I've never been that fast before. I've never seen anyone be that fast before. So maybe it's just like a, you know, just in case kind of thing. Yay, more Vellum flying content. Woo! Yeah! Yippee! Waha! Yoho! He's so cool. I'm not being crazy. It's, there's a Mario sounds. It's not crazy for a person to randomly make Mario sounds. What are you talking about? Can I use any of these jobs? Or do I have to use Simeon? Like, could I just use the Lester thing or? Any contact drop. Ah, okay. Less did put me in my apartment. Yeah, I wouldn't want that. He'd do terrible, terrible things to my body. So the location of this dinghy is not very good, it seems. So we will bring that back in and try a different location. Uh, don't know if that's really much better, but we'll see. At least I've managed to get the thing a few times landing on the front now. Okay. Um... I could feel it moving ever so slightly, but I'm like, ah, oh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, and it's not fine, it's in the ocean. 
Try spawning the dinghy as you're flying over the yellow dot. Then it sometimes spawns on the yellow dot, which is perfect. So like, I'd be flying and I'd have the M menu up at that moment, ready to press spawn. Yeah, I will do my best. People keep asking over and over again, why don't you use the floating helicopter? I don't know the specific reason, but they don't use it, so there must be a reason. I would suspect the helicopter probably flies slower, or it has to be higher than just the height of the helicopter. It needs the combined height of the D and the helicopter to work. So yeah, those would be my two guesses. I don't know the reason, but they don't, so there must be a reason. It's not like people who speedrun this game are like, wait, there's a helicopter that can f like land on water? I had no idea. Since when? That's crazy. This will revolutionize speedrunning forever. It's not gonna happen. Floating helicopter doesn't even spawn there because it's a hangar heli. You can't even dupe it. I asked speedrunners about it. All right, see, told you there was a reason. Mm. It was definitely taking damage rubbing up against the dinghy, but hopefully when I leave, that won't happen. All right, let's try again. Got the furthest away one again. Fantastic. Why do they always say mean things to me, man? They start saying mean things even before I start stealing the helicopter. Shouldn't they question how I teleported, like right behind them? No curiosity, these people. What I would like Rockstar to come out and say is how rich Pavel is now. Because doesn't Pavel get like 20 grand from each heist that's done? And so this heist must have been done like millions of times. Pavel is probably richer than any person in real life at this point. But he just so helpful, man. It's not about the money. It's about sending a message. What's my proudest achievement? Uh, Simeon thinks of me as a friend. He said so before. So, do I like online so far? You're funny. You're so funny! Perfect. As long as I can get in it. I can. Good. Now, where is this guard? I don't see a guard, so that means at the bottom? Oh wait, th is that a guard there? Is that- I can't tell the difference in guards and cameras! Wait, I forget this is- uh, Oh, there is a guard there. I can't see him though. Oh, is it just the guy in front of me here? I can't see him there, but he's on the map. So I got the worst possible RNG. It's all the way at the top. That's awful. See, I could have parachuted out onto this. If I could have seen that guard beforehand, but I could never see him. I could expand my map, I suppose. That's a good point. So this- this must be like this. Oh, yeah. Okay, genius over here. This is a terrible start. Go this way. And I need to get my phantom wedge. And then teleport away. Wow, that's a lot of time loss. That's like literally the worst possible RNG. Oh, but safe codes is super fast, yeah. If I can remember how to do it, which is unlikely. Safe codes I can teleport. I just don't need to take my oppressor, I believe. Prep, approach vehicles. Ah, oh, I failed again! <sighs> I forgot to do the thing so I could teleport out again. I don't think I can save this. I just have to start all over again. So I'll just blow this up. It was a bad start anyway. It's not gonna lock onto it, is it? Did I destroy it? It's invisible. How is this not dead? Just call Pavel. Uh, you can't while you're on a heist. So I guess I'd have to go to one of these trucks and then blow one of those up. I don't want to restart the session because it will move my submarine and the dinghies. Which I'm not even sure blowing these up will actually uh, help me progress. It's possible even this won't fail me. Have to try. <sighs> this is infuriating. Just throw the trailer into water. I blew up the trailer and then it went invisible and didn't fail me. Yeah, so there's literally nothing left on the map for me to do. It's just bugs. <sighs> you, you fucking suck, Rockstar. So I guess I'll have to find a new session and then just set everything up again. In the previous set of runs, I softlocked at some point and we didn't know why. It seems to be because of a particular job warp that I did that only softlocks because I'm a male character. Basically, Rockstar confirmed sexist. Why am I doing this to myself? Because I oddly enjoy it. As bad as this is, and I'm sure, I'm 100% sure, there are things out there in the world that I just don't know about that I'd enjoy 10,000 times more than this. But I don't know what those things are. I can't bother to find them. So I'm gonna play this instead. 
Your personal vehicle has been destroyed called something 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 because that makes the game fun, you see? Pointless phone calls. Everyone loves those things. I can do that. Can you though? Don't let Rockstar know you can do something. Competence is the reason they'll fire you. Okay. Phase one complete. Huh. Why is this not connecting with this? I... Whatever. Boom! It's one. Right, you want me to get into this last dinghy before I explode it to get myself into first person for the long fin later. Are you... I swear in single player this hook is a lot more lenient. Or maybe it's just with these dinghies, I don't know. Oh, no, get him first, get him first. Almost build up. And now we go. And now the Sparrow. Again. Why did I start speedrunning Keo Perico? It's because I needed money for the yacht missions, which I've never done. And so I needed a couple of million. And I was like, oh, I'll do some Keo Pericos. And then I looked into how to speedrun. I'm like, hey, I could actually just speedrun. And now I've spent like more money on getting stuff for the speedrun than I would have on the yachts anyway. So why do I want to do the yacht missions? Because I want to see what they are. Everyone says they're super disappointing and garbage. I'll be the judge of that. I know what garbage is. After all, I do play GT Online. Burn. What I'm trying to say is, if they're considered garbage, even by comparison to the normal GT Online content, they must be really something special. Okay. Let's try again. What? Why did it say... What's going on? I didn't reset the highest. I thought changing session reset the highest. Yeah, so I have to go to the island and then leave the mission. That's nuts. And people in chat typing, call Pavel and cancel heist. No, you can't do that. That'd be too simple. That'd be what any other sane person in the universe would program into the game. But Vox is like, no, 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 no. Fly across the map and then cancel the mission. At least we get a new little cutscene. Wow. Hope it doesn't give me the same cutscene I've seen 986,000, times. Oh, it is giving me that cutscene? Wow. Oh, true. My Sparrow is going to get removed. But let's at least see if uh, I was successful in placing the Sparrow correctly. Ah, there it is. Actually, while I'm here... Oh, it doesn't work. Shit. Well, that's, that's good and bad, really. But I was going to practice diving out. Okay, so this is the guard. And because the guard is there... That means the box is higher up, right? So that's the guy I have to look out for in the future. So now we call Pavel and be like, hey, yo, bro. I'm going to start again. Keep my 25 grand. Let's check on my dinghies here to make sure they're there. And then place the sparrow again to again have another go at this run. What? Why does it put away my gun like that? Ah, the third dinghy was removed. All right, so I guess I'll put another one there. Bang. It sucks that you can't get viewers in session because you could do the dream thing where Trat tries to stop you while you do a run. See, the problem with that is there are too many instant kill things. In Minecraft, like, you're fairly limited in how you can impact the player. In this, it's like, I am 800 miles away from you with, like, an explosive bullet sniper rifle. Dead. 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 No chance of dodging. It doesn't suit this type of game as well. I would do it for like the meme, the content, once, maybe, if it were possible. But it's, uh, it definitely wouldn't be particularly amazing. Right, so I want to try and do this as I'm flying over. How close was I? Uh, I was uh, pretty close, right? Yeah, that's pretty good. Skip it about that. What? Heli is made of glass. I don't think glass explodes like that. Anything you need, boss. Anything? Can you make a semi-helicopter doesn't explode? Surely that's good. Gotta stop forgetting to set up this quick join thing. Okay. Let's go! The furthest away one again? What is this RNG, man? Why are you no kind to me, Rockstar? 
again. Taking a while to take off there. Very good. Aha. As long as it lets me get in it, we'll be fine. Good. We have a chance. What is the button on controller to expand my map? So... I don't see the guard there. So that means it should be low. Oh, it's at the bottom. Nice. It's not up the tower, Mr. Pavel. Good RNG! Hacking time. Um, is it just all across? No, I, I'm, I failed. Fuck. So it's two, four, no, that can't be right either. Um, six and then one, one. Yeah, okay. That was embarrassing. I'll eventually, like, instinctively know what to do, chat. To the basements, where I belong. Oh, let's get the fuck out of here. Phantom Wedge. And away we go. Didn't lose that much time because even though I had the further away flights, I got the one on the bottom floor. So it kind of balanced out. Okay. Now set up this thing. Never forget to set up this thing. So I can teleport out. Now uh, approach vehicles, long fin. I swear getting into this in first person slot. Some, I'll go in front ways first and then reverse. There must be a more optimal way to turn around here. Oh my god, this is awful. No, fuck, I'm gonna reverse in next time. It's terrible. What? It didn't connect. Oh no. Okay, good. Now kill me, it's fine. Thank you. That's a great expression, Pavel. I'm happy you shared. Okay. And back to the sub. Spam. M and enter, so I can call my oppressor very quickly. It's a very small window. I got it. Nice. I'm teleporting out of here. It didn't split, but okay. Equipments, plasma cutter. So plasma cutter takes longer than safe code, so this isn't optimal. But what can you do? Okay, instantly went in the door. Uh, take picture. Oh, send a Pavel. Ah, uh, crap. I pressed right instead of left to the phone. There was, that was a skip forward in Pavel's dialog. Wait, am I meant to teleport? I meant to teleport, right? Yeah, I'm meant to teleport. Shit. Right. That was a completely pointless walk. Okay. Uh, wait. I'm using... Okay. Um, what's the button to go upwards again? Ah, uh, come on, dude! Can I... I ju just... Okay, I'll reverse out. It's fine. It's fine. I still don't know the buttons, chat. Down. Okay, going down takes a long fucking time. There we go. There we go. Okay, in we go. Uh, that was terrible, but faster than I've done it before. Because I had missiles. Okay. I need to set up random drop shit. Almost forgot. That's why I have notes. Um, equipments. Okay. Go to warehouse. Uh, what?! Something exploded and killed me. Oh, there's a bike? Oh, okay. Hack. Go, go. And now I'm flying here, right? No, I'm warping? Oh, of course I'm warping, okay. I, no, this button, uh, this one. Oh, okay, yeah, right. Nope, went past it. Close enough. Eh, uh, eh. Uh. I was just running, right? Yeah. I think third person here is faster? I shouldn't have to be looking at my notes at this point. How many runs have I done? Like, four? Oh no, I keep picking up my controller, I'm too used to it. Ah, uh, no. Press the wrong button to press control to go down. Okay. I'm really nervous about losing the oppressor. Okay, um, no warp. Okay, so I don't need to set up the thing. Uh, cutting torch. Let's hope my oppressor is out there and does not hurt me. Okay. Oh no, don't pick up my controller! I do it every time! I'm so used to it, man. Go up. Almost fell off. So this is the furthest away construction site, which is not good. Um, there it is. So blowing those guys up might not actually be the best move. Go up, go up. I'm gonna go up, upwards. I keep pressing shift to go upwards. Can I go up, upwards, please? I really, really like to go upwards right now. 
God, it's... These buttons, dude! I'm changing controllers, man. It's, it's not... It's not fair. Oh. Stop. Here. Yeah, okay. Uh, weapon loadout. This one. Accepts. Okay. Back this way. Turn. Let's go. Run. It gets caught on stuff so often, man. I keep reaching for my controller, dude. So I have a hard time identifying which building I'm meant to be going to here. It's, is this one, right? Yes, okay. Okay, so you don't want to shoot this person. Oh. Okay. Let's hope this thing doesn't bug again. Okay. I think I just did it too quickly last time, that's why it bugs. Um, I see a bunch of 17s, and that's fucked me. There's 70. Okay. Open the locker. Okay. And we spam Q. Q. Uh, just wanted to heal myself before I left. Okay. Get on that. No, no. no just get, get on there, dude. He's spinning around. So I don't have to worry about what happens to my vehicle now. I need to start going down earlier. Yeah, hold space to go faster. That's what I should be doing, yeah. Okay. Start. Thank you. Uh, get armor. I don't know if that actually, armor actually went through. Kind of hope it did. Uh, this one. This one. This one. This one. Let's go. So, I'll start the long fin here in first person because of the thing we did earlier with the dinghy. Right, so when the flash happens, that's when I meant to blow myself up. I think I did good there. It doesn't despawn the back, but I'm close to it. I think I've spawned closer than this, though. Uh, what? Okay, that is a tree. Right. How have I never hit that before? Crap. Okay. Didn't get the key. I hope I get it here. Oh, thank fuck. Well, that's a bit of time loss getting it late like that, but it's fine. So I don't know when I'm meant to be splitting here, because like, you make your own splits. I guess I'll split when it fades out or something. Oh, it never fades out. Okay, yeah. So that wouldn't be good. <laughs> okay. Oh, the key. Nice. Okay. Go in. Go in. Go in. Okay. Um... Okay, I'm still not thinking of it in terms of like the trick to it. I'm just looking at the fingerprint and and for identifying features and then actually trying to find it. Oh, I got to kill her again. God dang it! Get me through the door! Ah. <laughs> Noises! Why, why am I climbing? Okay. <laughs> These bloody cutscenes, man. You can guarantee these unskippable cutscenes are just hiding, uh, loading. Okay, back. Is it between these two trees? I'm going too far over this. No! I was so under that dude! Gotta control my speed a bit more, I suppose. And then it's to the right of this thing. This tree here. Uh, I didn't get much distance. You want to land in between... Wait, which one is it? Is it those? You want to land between the, these ones here, I think. Okay. Not bad. Sub 30 minutes. Go for sub 25 next. I, I can definitely achieve that. The question is, at what point am I going to try and use more dinghies to make the setups that I get more consistent? Because I'm still definitely losing time because of hesitation and poor movement and all that jazz. And given that's the case, it doesn't seem worth it for me to reduce the RNG at this point. I'm still losing a lot of time to suboptimal gameplay. But of course, I still haven't got all the optimizations. I still need to get a hanger so I can get the faster movement indoors. For those who don't know, there's a glitch where if you job warp to a hanger, you're, you will constantly have faster movement indoors or something. It doesn't save that much time, but it's worth having. And I do not have a hanger. I need at least $2 million. Yeah, I'm nowhere close. And at least one more run. So we'll do that next time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out. And I wish you all the best.